decomposing a uh, division of this polynomial into a partial fraction is very important for integration. Uh, when we integrate this one, unless we have 1 over uh, x plus a number form, we can't integrate easily. So let's take a look how we integrate, uh, de decompose this one. We have 2x plus 1, x squared minus 4. So what you need to do is you factor it first, plus 2 and x minus 2. Okay, the idea is when you multiply the bottom, you'll have exactly what you have on the left-hand side. And then put a a and b over here, constant a and b. What we're going to do is and we're basically going to cross multiply and x plus 2, x minus 2, and a is missing the x minus 2 part, and b is missing x plus 2 part. Okay, and then we're just going to compare coefficients uh, with the 2x plus 1. So let's try that. We have a, x, okay, that's the x term, and a constant term, I have a minus 2a over here, and that's the first one, plus bx, that's the, this part, and then plus 2b. Okay, now x term over here, I have 2x plus 1. So my x term, I need to get a plus b equal to 2. And then for my constant term, I have minus 2a, plus 2b is equal to 1. Let's simplify a little bit. So a plus b is equal to 2. And then I have over here, uh, minus a plus b is equal to half. Okay, from there, if I add those two, I have 2b is equal to 2 plus half. And b is equal to 1 half times 2 over uh, 5, 5, 5 and a half. Okay, so b is equal to 5 over 4. Okay, that's my first equation. So I have a b equal to 5 over 4. Now let's figure out what a is equal to. Since a plus b equal to 2, we have a is equal to 2 minus b. Okay. Since I know what a b is, 5 over 4, I have 8 minus 5 over 4. Now this might look ridiculously uh, long, but I always learn, tell my students, when you do this kind of tedious problem, slow down, okay? Because one little mistake is going to throw out the whole thing. So anyway, so the uh, answer here for A is 3 fourths. Let's double check. Okay, so we have A plus B is supposed to be 2. So 5 over 4 plus 3 over 4, indeed it is 2. Okay, and then next one I have minus A, which is minus 3 fourths. And I suppose add a B, which is 5 over 4. I was supposed to get a half in there. So this one does get into half. Okay, so answer checks out. All right, hope this helped. Have a confident day.